Let's talk about five tests I would do to assess cardiac risk, like risk of heart attack and stroke, aside from doing a coronary artery calcium scan that I call the calcium scam because it's radiation and does not give you information that you can track over time to see improvement. And when there's improvement, you have lower risk of heart attack and stroke. So here's the five. Number one, HSCRP. This is a marker of inflammation. And when you have inflammation, you have risk. Find the root cause of inflammation, you lower the risk. Number two, oxidized LDL or any kind of measurement of oxidative stress. We actually offer a urine test in our office that's a home test kit. And I'll tell you at the end of the video how you can get that. Number three, check LP little a. LP little a is a genetic lipid particle. That one elevated increases your risk, but there was ways to modify it without pharmaceuticals. Number four, check your homocysteine. Homocysteine is a way that you can assess your B vitamin status and the methylation pathways, which include essentially making all these different hormones, making glutathione, uh, thing neurotransmitters, very important there. And it's a sign that there is a B vitamin issue. And we improve on that with our Kickstart My Heart Bison Organ Complex that has the perfect form of B vitamins in the perfect ratios. And then number five is the omega-3 fatty acid test. Check your omega-3 fatty acid status, the highest levels, lowest risk. You don't need a coronary CT scan. You don't need to radiate yourself. Uh, the doctors do that, the hospitals do that because then it leads to stress tests and other procedures you don't need. And of course, they're gonna get all amped up about starting you on statin drugs and other injectable pharmaceuticals that are just gonna make you sicker because nothing addresses the root cause. And that's what we do at Natural Heart Doctor. We use these tests to assess our status as we improve root cause. So as we're improving nutrition and lifestyle and mindset, and then the metrics that we look at are the metrics of the blood and urine tests. So I'll put these all in the comments section. A lot of information will be there. Let me know what you think.